Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss an another implementation of the REST client that is Tracer client. The default client implementation that we have in our current code base is a simple implementation. When we use this client for sending the request and receiving the response, this client does not publish any kind of message at the console. So when we use this client, there is no visibility about the request and response payload that this client is using. To solve this problem, I am going to use an open source framework that will provide us the capability of logging the information as per need. The framework that I am going to use is HTTP Tracer. So in our code base, I am going to create another implementation of REST client that is Tracer client and the Tracer client is going to use this framework for logging the information at the console. To use this framework in our project, first we need to install the package for this framework in the project. So just do a right click on the project, manage NuGet packages and search for HTTP Tracer and install this package in the project. After the installation, do a clean build of the solution. Inside the directory that is client, I am going to add another class called tracer client. And this class is going to implement the iClient interface. And then we need to provide the implementation of the methods that are coming from this interface. After this, I am going to create a variable of type rest client option in this class. And after this, I'm going to create a variable of type rest client. I'm going to initialize this property in the constructor of this class. Inside this class, there is a property called configure message handler. I'm going to use this property to attach this framework with our REST client. As you can see here, the type of this property is a delegate. That means this property can hold the reference of a method that returns the type as HTTP message handler and takes a single argument of type HTTP message handler. So in this class, I'm going to create a method that will take single argument of type HTTP message handler and the return type of that method will be of type HTTP message handler. And in the implementation of this method, I can use the API that are provided by the HTTP tracer framework. So this is how you create the instance of HTTP tracer handler. So for creating the instance of this class, I'm going to use this constructor. In this constructor, we need to pass two parameter. The first parameter is of type HTTP message handler and the second parameter is an enum. And this enum decides what information we want to log at the console. We can use this option to log all the information at the console or we can use any other enum constant to filter the information that we want to log at the console. So for the current implementation, I will use the enum constant as all. So handler and enum. The enum is HTTP message parts and the value is all. 
so in the implementation of the dispose method i am going to invoke the dispose method on this variable so this method is going to release all the resources that are acquired by the rest client in the implementation of this method i am going to use the rest client option to set the properties for attaching the http tracer with our rest client the property that we need to use is configure message handler and also in the implementation of the tracer config method we need to return the instance along with this property i am going to set another property for deserialization we can further optimize this line of code by using the lambda expression the implementation is same the only difference is i am using the lambda expression to represent that we can further optimize these two line of code by using the single return statement and then i am going to initialize this variable with the help of this option and then return the instance of rest client So this is the implementation of tracer client that will log all the information at the console. So let me run this test class and observe the console log printed by the test methods. Now let us look at the console log printed by individual methods. So this test method is not printing anything. same goes for this one and so on so the only log that we see at the console is because of the debug statement that we have in our test method now let us use the same test class but this time instead of using the default client i will use the tracer client so let me create another test class and that test class will contain the same set of test method that is present in this class some of the test method that is present in the current test class is using the abstraction layer for writing the test script inside this test class there are some test which are written using the framework api and the framework is using the abstraction layer for writing the test script because of that there will not be any effect on the test method itself the only change will be the client implementation so all i need to do is to use the tracer client instead of default client and that's all the change we need to do automatically all the test method will start using the new implementation of the client so let me go ahead and run this class now let us look at the console log of individual test method 
so as you can see here now we are getting the information about the request and response at the console and this is coming because of the tracer client with the tracer client you can also control the information that get published at the console so instead of using the enum that is all let's change the enum to request body so let me rerun this test class all the test script that we have written so far we are using the abstraction layer and that's why you can see here there was very minimum changes when we introduce a new implementation of client in this manner with the help of an open source framework that is http tracer you can publish the logs at the console